How do we increase our skill set? Just keep making calls, sellers. Try different stuff. <laughs> Who said keep making calls? You just keep making calls, and like uh, Bailey said, just you, when you know it's going down or you think it is, just throw it against the wall, but it can't take away your birthday. Yeah, yeah. D try something new. What's the worst they can do? I actually, this is weird. Maybe this is just me. Did you ever have someone hang up on you and you started laughing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you know, by the way, what should we do when they hang up on us? Call them back. Go to the next call house. Them back. <laughs> Who said call them back? <laughs> hey, hey, Bailey, did you hang up on me or did we, were we disconnected? I was confused. Yeah, that, um, that, that's, yeah, I've, I've done the same thing. Oh, yeah, it sounds like the call dropped. <laughs> that's that's yeah, great. Yeah. And, and you get people sometimes, too, they're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe this guy called me back. It's, 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 called, guts for, it's called guts for a reason, right? I'm training you people to do things that none of your competition will ever do. They don't have the chutzpah, the unmitigated gall, the daring, the courage to do some and do and say some of the things we say. Why? Because the squeaky wheel does get the grease. Tashiana, you're laughing a little too hard at my bad humor. <laughs> Here, everything. What do you think about this, Tashiana? I unmuted you. I tried to unmute you. You're not on mute. Oh, there you go. What do you think about all this? You're, you're, the, you're the kid in the group. You're the young, oh, I think yeah. you're the youngest one in our group. You're 20? 22. 22. My God, I got underwear older than you. <laughs> <laughs> Bad visual. I'm sorry. What do you but think? No, it's good. Um, it's definitely, because I've been using scripts until I joined this group, so it's new to me. Scripts Not aren't like bad. By the way, you're wearing the right clothing. We're, this is an Under Armour uh, uh, group here. I'm, I gotta find the. Sorry, one. I got the wrong. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> it's okay. I like Under Armour clothing. Um, the thing is, being different and all that. Let's go. Keep going. Um, so ignore old school manipulative styles of scripted selling. It doesn't work. The statistic, statistically, it's not in your favor. If you're doing the same thing your competition does, be a one percenter. Embrace a different style. Throw away the filters. And, uh, throw, uh, be, uh, be yourself. What's Popeye, my hero? What does he say? I am what I am. That's all what I am. Be yourself. Uh, use your, your own personality, your own humor. You, and blend, blend in a little of that psychological questioning we talk about and stroking and nurturing. And, and you'll, ha you'll have more fun. If you have more fun, you make more phone calls. You make more phone calls, you make more money. Number five. Make off, so, I'm sorry for the note taking there, Matt. I'm all over the place. Uh, number five, make offers on the phone every day, every phone call. Make offers. What's the worst they can say? No. I don't think we make offers, Dale. What do you think? Absolutely. People are afraid. What, what's, what are we afraid of? What's, what can happen? <laughs> what can they say? No. They, they just won't. tell you no. Yeah. Are we so scared that they will not like us, that we're unwilling to take a risk? Do we suffer from that? I know I did. I want everyone I'm to like get a dog. You know, <laughs> ever have that devil and angel on your shoulder? I better not ask this question that I'm thinking of. They won't like me. It might seem too aggressive or whatever. Do you ever get, does anyone feel like that once in a while? I, you know what? I'm telling you, go for it. Just ask. Hey, Claude. Yes. When I first started, it was um, the hardest question to ask. What do you owe on your mortgage? The mortgage balance. Oh, go ahead, ask me. Oh no, I'm saying when I first started, that was the hardest question. And what did they usually? And what did they say to you? What was that question? Did you ever get? That's none of your damn business. Exactly, none of your business. You, you know, how do you respond to that? Somebody role play. That's a great question. Um, I understand how you might be surprised why I asked that, but respectfully, Mr. Homeowner, if you want me to help you, I need to know this, your situation. You know, I, I, I can't diagnose the situation and see if I can help you if uh, well, I don't need to do that. I, I don't really know you, and you know, I've been getting all these phone calls from all these mortgage lenders and guys like you, and I'm just a little uncomfortable. Well, there's only one person like me. <laughs> And I understand you're getting calls, but you know, you, you haven't had anybody uh, help you yet. You know, you're still on the phone with me, so you're still looking for a solution, right? Well, you got a good point there. What's he, <laughs> what's he doing so well, everybody? What did he just do so well in that one move? Did you hear it? It, it was subtle. It's that emotional pain. 
He's creating a need. He's trying to bond with me. We all talk about bonding and rapport. How do we get close to somebody where they say, well, you know, maybe Bailey's a good guy. Maybe Bailey's different from the other 20 guys I talked to. Maybe this guy's, maybe I shouldn't be, maybe I was a little rude to him. How do we, how does he, how did he change the whole um, dynamic there? The questions that I ask you. Have some okay. empathy for him. Yeah, yeah. Dale, say that again louder. The, the questions he was asking, the type of question. And yeah. someone said about empathy. Empathy. He, did he 